Hey everyone, today I'll be going through the cold and dark startup of the new Hoverwire F380X aircraft. Hopefully this video helps you out. We're going from Melbourne Airport to Dubai Airport today. And this should be a very fun but also very, a very long flight. But any comments or if you need help at all, either comment down below or you can through my Discord link below and I'll help you out there. So, one day I hope it helps you guys out. I'll try and go through it pretty slowly but also not too slow so you can also start it up pretty efficiently as well. So, that should be pretty good. But let's get started folks. So let's go into the cockpit here. Here we go. So let's go First step is to go to the overhead panel. You're going to get on your batteries. One, two, three, four. Four buttons to press for the batteries. Then, again, four buttons. We have the four external power units. Now the aircraft will start to boot up. You can hear it. Okay. Then we can go to our lights. We're going to arm the lights. Um, we can go mobile to auto, never light to on, get a light set up for the ground crew. Crew supply should be armed. And then we can go up a little bit, align our IRS. So that is how the plane knows where it is. So left knob to nav, right knob to nav, middle knob to nav. Okay, that'll do us now for the overhead. Now I'd like to go to the EFB just to input my flight plan. So I use SimBrief. Also, I use, I generally use a GSX, but I'm, I'm going to not use it today as not all you guys will have it. So I'll show you how to do it from like the default systems here. So SimBrief flight plan import. Done. Okay. So we, it's all loaded in. Lovely. Let's go to our fuel and payload, which is this button here. So, it should already be imported, which is easy. These are your figures for today's flight. And now, I'm going to go instant, just for the uh, video. So, we're going to go instant. But you can see you've got a main and upper there. So, you can double check your figures by going to the this little button here. So, there's payload, zero fuel rate, let's look at our zero fuel rate. Yep, that, that's spot on. So let's go to instant and do that. Fuel page should be 190. Yep, that's good. Instant again and should be all filled up. All filled up. Done. Next, we can input our figures on the uh, glare shield. So let's go here. Our weather is 1017 in Melbourne. So hate to press schools. 1017. Lovely. Uh, there's no control as I'm flying offline to learn the aircraft. <laughs> I do wish all the VATS controllers best uh, good luck with <laughs> this week with, with the aircraft. Even the uh, Dubai is rammed only like an hour in. But um, we're going to be cruising today. We're going to start off at 340, so we can get that in now just to get it all cleaned up. 340. Lovely. Now let's go to our FMC. It's all a screen now, so it's quite different. But trust me, it's not that more difficult. First thing is the init page. We're going to copy our uh, company flight plan requests. Press that button, it's going to do uplink. While it does that, let me show you around. So here's your pedestal. So, pretty similar speed brake flaps. This is new, so I'll show you that later when we get to it. The radio is new, but you guess, so you enter it using these numbers in there, so you can do 122.8. Then you can switch it around. You can turn it on like that. You can swap them around like that. So that, that's how you do the radio squawk code is here. 2000 is correct, that's what you want, lovely. So it's quite different, but it's not that 
more yeah when you, when you get used to it it's fine we can turn that off now as we are off that sim uh has it it has so it's done now we press receive flight plan and insert okay so what you've done right now folks is you've imported it all into here apart from this hidden star so we're going to put that in now you can put the star in later but for the video i'll put it in i'll put it in now so i can show you all how to do it looking at sim brief we're going to go to departure runway uh one six today in melbourne sid is never seven let's find never seven insert that and the arrival you press on the arrival icon code runway three zero right uh we'll prefer the ILS three zero right uh via the mp3 charlie which is that one there insert done now go to your uh fuel and load page so copy these figures so they're all done um Let's look at our figures here to put in our flight plan. Let's go over to the so fuel 195.9. So that's block. Yep, 195.9. Back we go. Zero fuel rate is this one here. So that's our CG, okay, and zero fuel at 315.1 with a CG of 36.33 so 315.1 36.3 done so now you have some green numbers that have appeared beautiful now we can go back to the init page beautiful everything looks good so now what you can do so we all filled up payloads in I want to turn on our system, so this is, this is different, so this part you have to really learn, it's pretty easy, you just go down here, they're already on by default, but if they are off like this, when the aircraft is not in alpha, when it's fully released, you turn them on, but they're not operational as it is in alpha, but if you're watching it and it's not in alpha, or it's in beta, or whatever they call it, you must turn these four on before you do all this stuff, so, but not a pressure so they're already on so we can skip this for now but yeah so just remember that when you um when the airplane gets updated okay so remember to see so you got to actually align them to so in two minutes you can align your irs so we'll wait two minutes meanwhile we can get on our fuel tank so airbus you take uh, you turn all of them on as if they aren't even used they will it will manage it by itself, so it's not like a boring in that sense. We can go see to auto now. Lovely. Look at how many that is there's an insane amount of fuel pumps. That is ridiculous. <laughs> on, 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 on. Okay. So once your fuel's on, you can then go APU master to on. Cool. Let it do its thing there. You will see it the APU action there. When you see flap open, go back up here, press start. Okay. Now it's lining. Good. It should be all done. Now we can make sure it's all aligned. Good. Again, that looks a bit enough, but just check that when it's fully released so we can go to flight plan now we can see that all our constraints have been imported so that looks like a fully complete flight plan to me that looks perfect there's the APUs pulling up right there check we're in manage mode and enter in our performance numbers so we go to perf now there's not a calculator built in so you can I guess you can just use him brief I guess so um we'll do a flex takeoff probably let's say 50 degrees Celsius and we'll just say what V1 150 
155160. That'll do us. Perhaps one for departure. Packs will be on. Until I can set there. That looks good to me. So now you can see it's all managed. Beautiful. Uh, I like to get on the constraints as well. Make our display look cleaner. So APU is now available. So you can see it's green there. So that means we are ready for engine start now. So let's use, let's see if we can do GSX pushback because that should be fine. See if that works. I think it does. Okay. By the way, this here is your trim, so you've got to set this trim manually, but in autopilot it will do it itself. So when you're spooled up, you can access your flight controls. Okay, so Hello, Captain. We are ready the, for the ignition switch is actually in uh, on the overhead and so not on a pedestal. So you want to go to engine start, you want to go to ignition, and get on the beacon light. And make sure we are off. External power with APU bleed on. Departure check completed. Bypass pin inserted. Okay. And there's our flight plan. It should be maybe a bit brighter because it's a bit dark. But you can zoom out. You can do all this kind of stuff. It looks fine. Lovely. All right. Locking gear. So this is how I like to do my aircraft. So um, if you look at my streams, I stream frequently. You can see how I sort of, you know, have like some flows that I do. It's all sort of become like you know, it's sort of innate now. Like I sort of know how to do all of them. But once you learn one, you can sort of do do all of them. Um, if you want to do like a more formal approach, you can use the checklist, but. I don't really like that, so that's why I do it sort of this nice and easy way. And it is also quite realistic as well. Let's push back to the left. Release parking brakes, please. Okay, so double check our area around us. We can release park brakes. Also, if you want my wing views, you can go to my di my release Discord server. Brakes, please. Yes, I will. I got all of them set up. It's very nice with that. Okay. Commencing push. All engines so, clear. Start at will. Now you go one and two and three and four. So let's go one and two. You can do one at a time, but this thing can do both at the same time. Enjoy the sounds. These things sound amazing. <laughs> Oh yes, amazing, amazing. So available, available, lovely. Now we can go three, four.
Alrighty, that looks pretty good. You want to wait until you get all four available songs. Set parking brake. Set park brake. Available, Unlocking available. Here. Done. Now you can go over the panel. Uh, start to normal. We can take off the APU bleed. We can go APU master to off. We can get on our nose like the taxi. Turn offs can come on. Now you set your flaps. So we have flaps one. Wow. <laughs> Tow truck disconnected. Amazing. Bypass pin removed. Now you go auto brake to RTO, Left so press clear. the button there. Right is clear. And you want to arm your speed brake like that. Just push it up. Does this go up at all? I'm not too sure. Okay. And now we can do our trim. So let's go back here. You want a trim of. 40, I think it was. Cool, trim set, cups are set, looking good. So then you have four engines that are all started up. You are all good to go. The truck has a kick attached. Beautiful. All right, folks, now you can just release park brake and off you go. You can taxi away <laughs> and enjoy your long haul <laughs> and enjoy the chaos in Dubai and Bouncy, everyone. So, I hope this video helps you guys do a cold and dark startup. If you want more assistance, comment down below or you can join with my Discord server. I've got quite a big community that can help you out. Also, if you want, you can join me on a stream live. I do, I'll probably be streaming this for a long time, so you can join me on a live stream for some long haul fun. Hopefully you guys found the video helpful. Remember to give it a like if you did. And if you are new here, subscribe if you like tutorials and live streams on Flight Sim. So, plenty more to come, friends. Hopefully now you can fly your own uh, F-30. It's uh, a lot of fun. I'll see you all in the sky. Happy flight. Look at that beauty.